What is PoE? Without changing the existence of the wire connection structure under Ethernet standards, power over Ethernet, or PoE, enables the Ethernet cable to transmit DC power while also transmitting data in parallel to the IP terminal devices. In 1999, both the IEEE and the Ethernet Alliance started working to standardize PoE to ensure interoperability across a broader range of connected powered devices, or PDs, and power sourcing equipment or PSE. The first of these standards, IEEE 802.3 AF, was ratified in 2003 and specified that the power must be able to be carried by either spare pairs or data pairs. Now, it has evolved into IEEE 802.3 BT for 90 watts, and it covers more and more applications, such as 5G small cells, display units, and AP routers. PoE power delivery includes two equipment types, power sourcing equipment or a power provider, and powered devices or power receivers. MPS has both PSE controllers and PD controllers. With equipment requiring different power levels, the PoE standard has 802.3 AF, 802.3 AT, and 802.3 BT, from class 0 to class 8. The PSE power output supports from 4 watts to 90 watts due to energy loss on the Ethernet wire during transmission. The PD input power supports 3.84 watts to 71.3 watts. What's the PoE structure? The PSE takes the power from an adapter, then sends it to the PD. The power and signal are transmitted through the Ethernet cable at the same time. Normally, the cable is a twisted pair. A rectifier circuit is necessary to adjust the voltage polarity before it goes into the PD device. After the PSE power is classified, the PD sends the same amount of power, as defined by the PoE standard, to the following circuit. Normally, an isolated DC to DC converter converts the 48 volts to a lower voltage for other circuits usage. So how does PoE work between the PSE and PD? First, there is a PD check. The PSE sends test voltage of less than 10.1 volts to the PD resistor, which is 24.9 kilo ohms. If the impedance matches, this confirms that it's a standard PoE device. Next is the power classification. After the PD is detected, the PSE sends power to the PD and gets current feedback to confirm the power level, from class 1 to class 8. Then the power is turned on. The power gradually increases to 54 volts, typical. Lastly, it is stabilized and monitored. The voltage is stabilized at 54 volts, and the max power is limited based on the classification results. There are several common DC to DC topologies for PoE PD, isolated active clamp forward topology, isolated flyback topology, and non-isolated buck topology. MPS can provide complete PoE solutions, including PD controllers, isolated DC to DC converters, non-isolated DC to DC converters, PD controllers integrated with DC to DC converters, and PSE controllers. Our solutions cover a wide range of power requirements, from 13 watts to 71 watts. To learn more, visit monolithicpower.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative new products.